Hey what's going on Guardians, TBL here for Planet Destiny, and in today's video we're going to be taking a very quick look at the Ill Will Legendary Crucible Hand Cannon and how it plays out in PvP. Alright let's go ahead and get started. So the Ill Will is a high impact hand cannon that you can get as a post game reward from the Crucible or as a bounty slash faction package drop from Lord Shax. Stat wise this thing is rocking a rate of fire of 15, a massive impact stat of 94 meaning it can deal about 95 damage per crit shot, 64 damage per body shot, a base range of 50, a base stability of 12, reload speed of 9, a magazine size of 7, and a base aim assist of 50. Now this is a really interesting weapon, it's naturally massive range and impact give it a potential optimal time to kill of about 0.5 seconds against low armor opponents in the crucible able to basically take them down in two crit shots. And if you get the right type of roll you can actually extend that two tap potential to higher armor guardians as well, although we'll be talking about that a little bit later. Alright so before we get into the rolls of this gun let's talk a little bit about how exactly this weapon performs in the crucible. And really as much as I love this archetype, Timer's Lash in year one was one of my favorite weapons, it does have a hard time competing against the current mainstays of the PvP meta, i.e. your palindrome, your Ayas Luna, etc. Now this gun is capable of two tapping people under the right circumstances, again more on that in just a bit, but unfortunately it isn't a reliable occurrence and you'll more often be doling out the general one headshot, two body shot kills, which unfortunately puts this gun into direct competition with hand cannons in the Ayas Luna tier, which overall are more comfortable are also capable of killing in three shots and boast a much better rate of fire than the ill will. Oh, they also have a much higher base stability as well. Uh, that means under normal circumstances the ill will basically does what those hand cannons do, just a little bit slower. I do believe the three shot time to kill on the Ayas Luna tier of hand cannons is about 0.87 seconds. Well on the ill will it's one full second, that's a big time difference in PvP. So it really isn't that the ill will itself is a bad weapon, it can actually be quite the great and fun gun, it's just not as optimal as say that perfect vendor palindrome. But then again what is? Well that is unless you do something rather silly with it. Let's go ahead and talk some rolls here. Now I've actually gotten quite a few ill wills but these two are the ones that I've kept, they're very similar in that they both boast the true sight iron sight and the luck in the chamber perk. But one is rocking rangefinder, hammer forged, and the other one has outlaw, braced frame, rifled barrel. Now an interesting note about this gun is that you can reach the maximum range stat of 62 without having to resort to rifled or reinforced barrel. On the ill will class of hand cannons you can actually get there with just hammer forged, which doesn't have any negative drawbacks. And usually reaching that maximum range stat would be the most important thing on a hand cannon. But honestly in my playtime I've actually come to appreciate the braced frame roll with its massive stability boost even more. And here's why. It allows for a somewhat cheesy two tap setup involving luck in the chamber. Now certainly you can use this hand cannon like a normal hand cannon, again trying to hit that maximum range stat of 62 so that you're least affected by bloom and that it gives you the most consistent gameplay experience, but with this gun's naturally high range I decided to try it out with more stability rather than more range, because honestly if you just go for the normal range and uh, normal usage of this gun as a hand cannon, again you're going to be put up right against the Ayas Luna, right against the palindrome, which do what this gun does, just faster and better. So let's talk a little bit about the stability roll. Braced frame lowers this gun's magazine size to 5, making a luck in the chamber proc quick and reliable, and with the bonus stability you should have an easier time lining up concurrent headshots. Mix that in with outlaw and you've got a somewhat reliable fast reloading two tap machine at mid ranges that can lead to some surprising kills should your aim be true. Now, this by no means is a game breaker, if you aren't hitting precision shots the abysmal reload speed and small magazine on this thing will definitely be your doom. But if you're fighting at the right ranges, aren't being affected by bloom and your aim is good, you should be seeing quite a few two taps with this thing and once you get that two tap op just pop that outlaw, get your reload and you're ready to rock and roll again. It leads to some pretty funny encounters. But at close range you can pair this thing up with a nice shotgun or a sidearm like the zeal vector to cover those CQC encounters. Ultimately the ill will is a very fun weapon, and while it may not be the top of the meta there are a few roles like this that can make the gun worthwhile. I've had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys do too. 
But alright, that's it for our quick PvP look at the Ill Will Crucible Hand Cannon. Do you guys have one of these things? Do you have an even better role? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. But alright, it's gonna be it for this one guys. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.